Hi, I'm Shayna Summers in El Paso, Texas, and you're listening to Fresh Cut. Try to avoid the things in life whose only purpose is to make you feel small. Like this interview I saw where the guy says, the average woman can do zero pull-ups. Zero, he says with a laugh, thinking about his mother or his sister, not his wife. Men like him don't have wives or girlfriends, just situationships he hides in so he can't see the extra weight she's carrying, the weight of him and men like him, wounded, masculine, pulling himself up by putting her down while real men stay low to the ground, offering themselves like a ladder or a footstool, holding the weight of her, changing the fate of her, regarding the strength of her, her heart and her mind, knowing if she can just pull up just one time, she'll be free from a stigma that says, you're too weak, take a seat. You're too small. Small frame, small voice, small ideas that won't keep you up at night, trading sleep for a head full of dreams. The biggest lie being equality. Try to avoid the people in life whose only goal is to make you feel small and let's pull each other up. If not out of your own frustration, then for the sake of future generations, let's get stronger together and we can change statistics forever. You should do bad art. You should do good art, but it might not happen right away, so be okay with bad art. You can paint, you can write, you can sing. It really doesn't matter. Just get out there and do the thing. Even if it's garbage, even if it's shit, have courage of mind and just do it. Bad art, because hidden inside a million insecurities this world would have you feed could be something really special, something we all need, a missing part held captive by the fear of bad art. I think differently. Clinically, it's called ADHD. I call it chaos. You might think it's about distraction, but that's only a fraction of my reality. One part hyperactivity, two parts emotional irregularity, equal parts impulsive behavior. My God, someone save her, contain her, medicate her, change her. I don't always dissect what goes on in my mind because I'm learning these lessons in real time. Like this lesson I once learned a little too late. Not that it's ever too late. It's never too late. I have come to the realization that sometimes my relations end but never really end because my hyperfixation prevents them from reaching their natural conclusion. Instead, I play people on repeat like a record in my head over and over and over until they show up at my door and I welcome them back in. And I don't want to be the problem, but sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm guilty. Sometimes I try to structure thought patterns using methods that don't come easily, that don't make sense to me, to make me less of who I am and more of what you see, because no one really wants to be different. And that's the hilarious part. Our minds are built so differently. Our thoughts like art, brilliant, distinct, wholly ours. They shape the canvas of our expressions, painting crescent moons and deciding each direction. And it sounds so free. To think my thoughts have never once considered me. They're like a narcissistic ex washing his hands of the mess that he made and walking away, leaving me alone with my thoughts to figure them out like, okay, and then realizing that maybe I can't always figure it out. And maybe that is okay for my mind to work freely, to embrace the sometimes chaotic and sometimes kind of fun parts of me. Permission to think differently. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You can follow me on Instagram at Stuff Shana Says and stick around for more fresh cuts.